my name is Martin. Uh, I'm the CTO at Steiger Dynamics. Uh, we are a freshly launched system builder based out of Los Angeles. And today I would like to introduce you our uh, very new line of HTPCs, uh, which is actually the, the most uh, powerful and, and world's first liquid-cooled HTPC on the market, especially made for, for high-end living room gaming. So uh, let's just quickly go over here and uh, have a look at the hardware. So this is our uh, full aluminum hand-brushed uh, custom-made case. It's a, it's a one-piece shell um, of extremely high, high quality, so we believe we have the, the, the best case on the market when it comes to quality. And it has like a 0 0.2 inches wall thickness, which is, which is unmatched, uh, featuring a 7-inch uh, uh, Samsung front panel, um, showing our, our own uh, monitor app. Uh, where you can hear, you see the screen, the performance screen for uh, CPU, RAM and, and GPU load levels, uh, temperatures and so on. Um, when we can have a look inside, we have our, our custom LED lighting, so you can see a little bit more. I can switch it on right here. And yeah, basically inside it's a, it's a top-notch, high-end uh, high spec system. Uh, we can start here with the, with the storage drives. Right there, this is a uh, four Western Digital red uh, storage drives, which we picked uh, because of their TLR support, continuous operation uh, ability, and uh, yeah, basically you can use it as a as a home server, as a NAS. Our system is replacing these systems completely. Um, right here is the the Seasonic uh, 1000 watts um, platinum power supply, one of the most efficient and, and stable power supplies on the market. Um, Attached to that is our custom um, cabling right here, single sleeved um, of highest quality um, and, and tailor made to, to fit the chassis precisely. Then um, right here you see our, our radiators of our custom liquid cooling solution. Uh, it's actually custom, um, custom made radiators fitting our, our case. Um, made by SwiftTech for us, so we developed a whole uh, liquid cooling solution with these guys. Uh, and it works really, really well. Um, we can fit up to an, an, uh, a Quad SLI GTX 690 setup, so put two 690s in there um, with a 6-core or a 4-core and it's still going to be gonna be cool enough. And um, right down here you'll have our uh, our Quad Seton, um, Quad uh, General uh, cable TV card. Uh, so what channel means you can actually like record three channels and then watch one simultaneously or spread four different channels uh, wirelessly through through devices in the house that's uh, very very comfortable and then um, all this is based on a on a maximus 5 extreme um, on here c77 asus board with an overclocked uh, uh, i7 3770k and uh, yeah um, the, the ASUS board has a, a custom bias uh, where we refine the, the PWM fan uh, settings so we have like a broader range in, in idle in idle system is completely inaudible and then once uh, it, it, it gets up um, on the loads either with gaming or, or encoding or whatsoever um, the, the fans would rise a little bit in speed to yeah to cool it down sufficiently but it's still gonna be gonna be very very quiet exactly what you would expect from your living room system. So uh, when we have a look uh, from the rear of the case, um, you're going to see down there the, the Corsair Dominaire Platinum um, 2133, uh, 32 gigabytes of, of dual channel RAM. And then um, just uh, below the, the Blu-ray drive or the writer, depending on the configuration, you have a, a SSD setup. Uh, in that case, it's two, uh, 240 gigabytes Corsair Neutron GTX running in RAID 0 mode uh, and providing up to uh, one gigabytes uh, in, in, in read and write speeds, uh, making the system incredibly snappy. So yeah, let's let's talk, let's talk about the the back panel of, of our system. So basically, this is a uh, power switch for the for the PSU. Um, then then down here we have uh, at, with the uh, with the Maximus Five uh, formula, we have a Thunderbolt port. We have like an internal uh, integrated wireless and, and Bluetooth card. We have our uh, standard USB connectors here. Um, we have an onboard um, onboard HDMI uh, and, and DisplayPort uh, connector, which we don't use in that case because uh, we have our dedicated G GTX 690 graphics card in there. Um, we have some more ports here for, for analog audio or, or optical SPDIF, uh, which we also don't use because we actually do use our our DVI port on the on the GTX 690 with an HDMI connector. It's it's actually the same standard 
um, transmitting both uh, sound and and video to the AVR and from there to the TV. So we have our True HD 7.1 uh, lossless bit-streamed audio and and of course lossless video uh, to the TV with it. And when we go up here, uh, you see our our fan spinning. We actually um, use the Gentle Typhoon uh, fans, which are known as the as the best fans for for radiator use and, and also the most silent at the highest pressure. Um, that's what we are we are going for. And then here. Um, our engineers um, like building plaquette, uh, so you have, the, you have the signature of, of whoever built your system, which will then later be also your support uh, contact person in, in case uh, you're experiencing any, any problems, which you hopefully don't. So basically when, when we talk about the noise level of our system, it's, it's uh, completely inaudible and silent. Uh, there's three theoretical sources of noise, which is the fans, which is the pump and uh, the hard drive, um, which have mechanical parts in there. And we like all the all the all the stuff we use is, is completely um, um, inaudible and idle and, and optimized for that. And then of course the, the fans will turn up a little bit uh, once once the load levels go up. But it's still going to be an extremely silent system, um, really made for for the living room. Yeah. So now let me just show you how well uh, high-end PC gaming from from the couch uh, really works. Huh? So basically, if you Wanna, like if I have the keyboard right on my legs, it's, it works very conveniently. If you use a smaller keyboard, you can put it to your right side. You can either like play from here or use the standard uh, WASD um, keys. Yeah. So we have a wireless uh, G700 Logitech mouse here, a K800 keyboard. Both work very well in, uh, in a long distance living room environment, which is very important because all, all the interferences you have with other wireless devices. But those we, we've tested a lot, really a lot of devices uh, out there, and, and those two work work perfectly. Um, lag free and yeah I'll just let's just give it a shot with uh, crisis 2 and uh, yeah have a look and, and see see for yourself how it goes and how instant it actually is and, and how comfortable it is just just to gain from your sofa okay so here now we're playing on our uh, 70 inch uh, full HD 3d TV uh, basically this is 2d now because the camera can pick up 3d we love to play games in 3d and crisis 2 natively supports it so it would actually work but there's no point in showing you and the first thing I want to present to you is like how really like how instant and lag free the mouse works. Yeah? So if you see the mouse, how I move it and see it on the screen, it's like it's like connecting it with a cable. And uh, coming from a Counter Strike competitive background, uh, I'm really sensitive to things like that. So that was one of our pre prerequisites. Um, if, if we want to do a gaming HTPC, uh, that that has to work, and, and it does actually. Yeah. And. Uh, if you like check out this detail um, and richness and everything, it's like it's just unbelievable. Yeah? It's not comparable at all to to any console or whatever is out there. Uh, it's so much better. Yeah? And then this is uh, full HD and in, in hardcore settings, which is the maximum you can do on Crisis 2. And on that system, we got uh, we're not even crossing the, the 100 FPS limit, as you can see in the right corner. That's fraps, and that's our current FPS in, in full HD ultra settings. And when we come to system specs itself, like the temperatures, yeah, um, you can see them down there on the on our front screen monitor, which is always running in the background, so you can just like have like full control over your settings. And uh, yeah, and it's keeping really cool. Yeah? We have like CPU temps of 65 degrees Celsius now, and uh, CPU temps of 45, uh, which is like totally within any any limits. Um, and uh, yeah, working really well. So yeah, now we're done showing you the gaming part. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, show you some some uh, uh, stress testing. Yeah? So I'm just gonna like do the the Alt Tab switch and leave Crisis running in the background. So it's left system running. See there, and now we're gonna start just start uh, stress testing with uh, Prime 95. Open the, the blend test for the RAM and like a very high CPU utilization. And then at the same time, run Furmark, which is like a high end uh, GPU stress test. So you can see on the screen below there that both CPU and GPU work on 100% low levels. And the CPU is uh, with the liquid cooling going up to 75, while the GPU stays really cool at, at 45 and then really slowly going up. And remember, that's a, that's a, an overclocked uh, 377 with 0K, uh, overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz, and uh, the voltage is up, um, respectively. And yeah, also the, the GPU, it's a, it's a 690 hydrocopper, um, which comes pre-overclocked factory-wise. We, we didn't do anything else uh, there. 
but uh, still it's developing some heat and the system set just, uh, just stays really, really silent and cool. So yeah, now you got some uh, first impression of our system and uh, I hope we could convince you. And it's actually called uh, the LEED because we believe it's, uh, it's uh, really truly elite. And if you would like to, just check it out, have a closer look, see some photos, uh, some specs. Uh, can check out our website on www.steigerdynamics.com or uh, find us on the web and uh, just Google us and, and yeah, have a look. You can configure it and yeah, we'd like to hear from you. Bye bye.